Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2010 Toyota Highlander Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its power lift gate, its running boards, as well as its heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2010 Toyota Highlander Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited model is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then taking a look at the front hood here you're going to see your hood deflector. Over on the side you have your 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have your running boards and then taking a look up on your mirrors here you have your heated mirrors. Now the other nice thing with the Limited model is it does have that smart key system with it. So with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing the button you see here on the handle. Push on it once it'll lock all the doors automatically and then if you put your hand between the handle here it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. You have your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is silver. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your light gray leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls as well as your window wiper de-icer and your power lift gate opener. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. You also have your premium JBL sound system. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control scroll function, you have your Bluetooth mode select, and then you have your temperature control settings, and then you have display, voice recognition, and cruise control. Now one of the other nice things with this limited model is it does have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it'll start up for you automatically. Now I'm just going to close in on the exact kilometers just so you can see what it's currently sitting at. And we're going to be taking a look now at your center dash as well as your AM FM CD player. At the very top you're going to see a couple of different display settings so you have your digital clock as well as your exterior temperature gauge and then if you hit the display button that's just located on your steering wheel here you can scroll through many of the different options including your fuel economy as well as your temperature control settings and a couple of other additional features. Now located just down below you have your AM FM CD player and then you have your hazard lights a couple of the controls you'll see down below is your temperature control settings with your fan speed and then you also have your um, passenger and your um, driver temperature controls uh, separate as well as your rear temperature controls just located down below. Now you have your auxiliary port just located on your left hand side with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger power outlet matted to a automatic transmission. You also have your downhill assist control with your snow mode and you have an additional power outlet. At the very top you're going to find your auto dimming rear view mirror with your digital compass and a couple of the controls you'll see at the very top here include your integrated garage door opener, open and closed and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your sunglass case holder with an additional mirror just located on the inside here just so you can keep an eye on the kids while you're driving. If you do forget your sunglasses you do have the visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side and then for your backup camera it's just actually going to show up just in this uh, display right here. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you're going to find your backup camera just located on your left-hand side. Rear hatch at least will be located just underneath your Highlander emblem. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. One of the nice things is you have uh, two additional seats in your third row, but the nice thing with that is that you can actually have it folded down to the floor just in case you do need the additional um, cargo space but if you do need the additional occupants all you have to do is just fold the seats up just by pulling on this piece right here. Headrests are just located right behind here now if you do want to have it folded back down your headrests are up all you have to do is just pull on this piece here it'll fold the headrest down and then pull on the middle piece that's located in the middle and fold it back down to the floor. Now if you do need the additional uh, cargo space you can actually fold down those seats in the second row as well. Now located just underneath the floor here, you'll find your tonneau cover. The nice thing with your tonneau cover is you can make sure all your valuables are actually covered up just while you're going from store to store. Now you also have an additional power outlet in the back here just in case you do want your third row passengers to actually plug in their digital devices. The other thing I like with this Highlander is that it does have that power lift gates because a lot of times when you have your hands full it's kind of difficult to close up the tailgate. But all you have to do is push on the button once and it will close automatically for you. 
Now the other nice thing is, is if you're ever out at the cabin or the lake during the weekend and you need to throw a couple of things back into your Highlander, all you have to do is just push on the button that you see here on the back. It'll open up the hatch glass for you and then you can just throw your things back there really quickly. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you, on you I should say, at all times. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2010 Toyota Highlander Limited, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.